there are many patterns in nature from pine cones to leaves to flowers but did you know that even a tree has a pattern it has some sort of self repeating pattern doesn't the small part of a tree look a lot like the whole tree self similar shapes like these are called fractals they are generated by repeating a certain rule over and over again mostly an infinite amount of times have a look at this the serpentine triangle a geometric fractal is created by starting with a triangle and applying the rule to remove a small central triangle from a larger triangle forever Let's see how the area of the Sapensky triangle changes as you do more iterations. The sequence whose nth term is the area left after the nth iteration gets closer and closer to zero, but never gets there. In fact, we can choose a number as small or smaller than 0.0001 and still find a term in the sequence whose distance to zero is even less than 0.0001. Zero is set to the limit of the sequence, which intuitively is a number the sequence appears to reach, but never gets there. Even some series is converged to a limit. The more terms you add together, the closer it will be to its limit. For example, adding more reciprocal powers of 4 gets us closer to 1/3 and adding all of them gets us to 1/3. Let's use a fractal to see this. It is evident that the red, yellow and blue parts are 1/3 of the entire fractal. We can also express these sections as the sum of the infinite individual squares that make them up, which turn out to have areas equaling the reciprocal powers of 4. When we plot the speed of a non-uniformly accelerating object, we get a curved graph. The area under this curved graph represents the distance traveled by the object. While doing so, the idea that we can represent a number such as 1/3 as a sum of an infinite series is helpful.